opening the app on a device once we click the show snack bar button you can see that our snack bar shows up on the bottom it says this is a snack bar in this video i will be showing you how to create and display a snack bar message let's get right into it so what i'm going to do first is move this to the side i do this because i feel like it gives me a bigger space and next what we're going to do is head over to activity main and now we're going to head over to split which is right here and for me i'm just going to go delete this text view this text view message right here and to display the snack bar message i'm going to have to create a button so once you click it it will show the snack bar message so what i will do is have an open tag and have a button so once you already type b you can already see that android studio already knows what you may be trying to do so we just press enter on button and I'm just going to keep it at wrap content for the width and for the height wrap content. And inside the box, I, the button, I want to be able for it to say show snack bar. And now what else I'm going to do is just have the closing tag right here. And I'm also going to give it in an ID. The reason I give it an ID is so Android Studio can know I'm talking about this button. Like for example, if you had two friends and you wanted one of them to do something for you, you wouldn't just say, hey, you would call the friend by their name, by their ID. You'd be like, hey Ryan, I need you to help me with this. And then Ryan automatically knows that you're talking about him and not the other person. I'll just keep it as button. I feel like this is a good name, a good ID. And the reason you may be seeing an error is because remember, we are in constraint layout. You can do this in any layout, but if you are in constraint layout, you do need to add your constraints. I'm just gonna leave it right here. You can put it wherever you want. And also for snack bar, we're gonna to have to get, we're gonna to have to put an ID for our layout because we do need to tell the snack bar where we want the message to be coming up on. So I'll just put ID here. And I'll give it a simple ID. I'll just call it layout. And this should be fine. Now let's head over to mainactivity.java so we can do the logic. So first we're just going to initialize the widgets. So we're going to do button and I'll name it button one. And for our constraint layout, I'll put constraint layout. And I'll just name it layout. I'll call it layout one, actually. Now we're just going to set these up with find view by ID. So we're going to do button one equals find view r dot ID. And basically the ID that you gave it. So if you were to do this by yourself, it would be find view by ID r dot ID dot the ID that you gave it. Now let's set up layout one doing the same thing. Find view by ID R the ID dot and the ID that I gave our constraint layout was layout. Boom. Now it's time to set up the on click listener. So once we press the button, the snack bar message will come up. We're going to do this by doing button one dot set on click listener. We're going to type inside the parentheses new view dot on click listener. So now that we have that set up, we're going to set up the snack bar. We're going to type snack bar and do not forget to type the S in capital because if it's lowercase, it won't show up. So we're just going to type capital S snack bar dot make. And since we're gonna set the root layout to our coordinator layout, so we're just gonna type layout one. And once you do comma, I want you to put quotes. Well, not I want you to, but that's how you should do it. You should put quotes next. This is basically what you want the snack bar to display. So I'm just gonna type, this is a snack bar. And I'm just gonna add a little exclamation points to it. I think that's fine. Now we're going to add a comma after the quotation mark again. And this time we're going to be talking about the length. So we're going to do snack bar dot 
length. If you want the length to, sh if you want the snack bar message to be up for a long time, you'll just put length underscore long. But if you want it to be only for like a short amount of time, you can just put length underscore short. For example, you see, but I'll keep it for a long time. So I'll leave it like this. Next, what we're gonna do is set the action dot set action. Next, we're gonna do dot set action, and we're just gonna put our own customized thing. The reason we do this again is because I'll display an image right now so you can see. So you see to the right of our display custom message, you can see that it says close, and this is basically like what you want the users to see again, like. Once you click that, it will do the function that you want it to do. But I'll just put it to close because I feel like that will be easier to help you guys grasp the concept. I'll put it to close and then I'm going to put a comma and then I'll put new view on click listener. Now that we did that, we wanted to do something once we press our close. So I'll just add a toast message. I'll put toast. Oh, it already has it for me. And in this one, I'm just going to put get application context. And this, it'll know that we're doing get a main activity since we're doing get application context. It'll know the context that we're in automatically. So I feel like that's the easier, that's just easy to put it like that. That's a nice function. Now for our text, for the toast message, I'll just put closing since it will be closing. As soon as you press close, Android Studio will just close it by itself. I'm not, I, we don't have to do any functions for that, it just does it by itself. You'll see an example that I will show later on. Now once you do this, you're gonna go over here. Because remember, we have to make the snack bar show. If you do not do this important part, it will not show. So you're gonna have to put dot show. And then now that we did this, I will show you how it looks like on a device. Opening the app on a device, once we click the show snack bar button, you can see that our snack bar shows up on the bottom. It says this is a snack bar, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. And you can also see that it has our close function. Once we press close, it brings up our toast message which says closing. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I recommend that you go to my channel and check out my other tutorials, Mass Programmer Route.